Hi everyone, welcome back. <coughs> we are about to understand what is intent. What is intent? Um, to understand the intent, I'm going to create a new agent. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to name it Total Booking Agent. And something here, all in this space are not allowed. So simply replace it with dashes. Okay, we have created a new hotel booking agent and we are going to make few intents in it. Okay, first intent is book hotel and simply save it. The second intent is show all bookings. Okay, each intent for each capability, right? Okay. I'm going to uh, populate the book hotel. In the intent, we have a user say section in which we have to uh, provide a few sentences as example which user could say to invoke this intent, right? User could say, uh, if user want a book a hotel, a book a room, user could say, I want a book a room. And here we have contacts we will discuss it later and we have events we will discuss it later and we have actions okay we have actions um, okay, right. your total booking request is forwarded okay simply save it now we comes to action so what is actions in uh, hotel booking we have to collect some parameters just like we are uh, we are booking hotel in mobile app or web application we have to collect some information like host name last name email address okay okay then so in dialog flow uh, in chatbot making we have to think from answer not the question first think answer first so if if I want to ask if I want to ask username so what what he will answer he will answer my name is John okay notice one thing here dialog flow automatically detected the John as a given name uh, first name right okay as it detected the first name here it automatically adds a parameter here these parameters called action parameter and we have to add book auto action we will discuss what is this this uh, unique identifier later we will discuss this later first we have to discuss this one and i mark is parameter i mark this parameter as required as a mark is required it it appears in one another option called prompt we have to give some prompts and here the question comes in what is your name um, let me know your name your good name please and um, please tell me So we have uh, entered four prompts it will pick randomly each time okay then question is here and the answer is here okay we simply have to save it and we have to test it I want to book total right okay so it is not giving me response this response it is it is asking me for this parameter actually this parameter it, it detected that this parameter is not provided so 
I say my name is Alice. Or okay, so it is. It is parameters collected as Alice. Okay, then what is this? This is entity. This is entity. Uh, that added flow has some built-in entities, built-in entities to use for like name and other, which we can see here. Date, period, email, weight, length. We'll use some of these in this video. Okay, add some more parameters. Let's say we want to ask how many persons he want to book order. Okay, what user will answer? for three persons okay it automatically detected three as a number parameter uh, as a number entity uh, the flow has some built-in entities to use for like name number date email and many more country city okay uh, it will automatically add parameter here mark it as required and simply define some prompts like this book room for how many persons for how many people you want to book total Simply save it. Um, test it. I want the hotel. All right. It is asking for name. Here you can see two parameters are required because this is a developer console, so it's showing all these things. Uh, so it's asking for a name parameter first. Okay. Notice one thing. The parameter which is mentioned first it is asked first uh, such as I have uh, mentioned main parameter first you can also do this 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 one so, so parameter which is mentioned first ask first okay he's asking for name okay, so my name is John Collected name parameter and is asking the second one, which is a number. Book order, book order for how many persons? If I answer wrong, such as what? So it will ask again. Book room for how many persons? And it will ask him again and again if I answer wrong. Okay. Um, book order for two. Right, both parameters are collected, and your hotel booking request is forwarded, which is right here. Okay, then. Let's say I want to ask email address of user. So, what user will answer? User will answer my email is abc at the rate abc dot. Sometimes it doesn't uh, detect it, so you can simply uh, add by hand, and you can simply delete it, right? And you can simply add it again. And, here, and, here. and doing this, we'll add a parameter here, right here. Mark is as required. Define prompt. Please, please tell me your email for contact further mm -hmm.
you can add as many prompts as you want and there's no limit okay. uh, much responses and your bot will much like you okay, then save it and check it again okay. what is your name my name is you can say any English name uh, here. Uh, it has built-in entity of names, so it can detect any English name. All right. Okay, how many persons? Four, three persons. Okay, tell me your email address. Okay, I'm going to say. And simply it has detected my email address, my name, and how many persons. Uh, I want to book Odisar. And it's responded as your hotel booking request is forwarded. What is the next step? The next step is we will make our own entity. Um, the dialog flow provides some built in entities, but sometime uh, we, we need to make it ourselves. Okay, thank you, Ramit. And I will upload this this agent exports it and I have uploaded it in my repository right here I will share the ring repository in the description of video okay so see you next video bye